In these next few problems, we'll be working with the following fractions and putting them in their lowest form. Let's take a look at our first example. We have 24 over 36. Now to put this into its lowest form, we need to find the highest multiple that will go into both 24 and 36. So using our common multiples, we know that 12 can go into 24 and 36. So let's divide our top and bottom by 12. 24 divided by 12 is 2, and then 36 divided by 12 is 3. 2 thirds could not be reduced down any further, so that means this is our final answer. Now we have 12 over 18. Again, we want to ask, what's the highest multiple that can go into 12 and 18? Well, we know that 6 can go into 12 and 18, so let's divide the top and bottom by 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2, and then 18 divided by 6 is 3. 2 thirds cannot be reduced down any further, so 2 thirds is our final answer. Now we have 49 over 56. Well, 49 only has three multiples, 1, itself, and 7, because 7 times 7 is 49. So therefore, we have to divide the top and bottom by 7, because 7 can go into both 49 and 56. 49 divided by 7 is 7, and then 56 divided by 7 is 8. 7 eighths cannot be reduced down any further, so 7 eighths is our final answer. Now we have 18 over 63. Again, what's the highest factor that can go into both 18 and 63? Well, again, using our common multiples, we know that that's 9. So we divide the top and bottom by 9. 18 divided by 9 gives us 2, and then 63 divided by 9 gives us 7. 2 over 7 cannot be reduced down any further, so 2 sevenths is our final answer. Now we have 18 over 24. Again, what's the highest multiple that can go into both numbers? Well, that's 6, so we divide our top and our bottom by 6. 18 divided by 6 is 3, and then 24 divided by 6 is 4. 3 quarters cannot be reduced down any further, so 3 quarters is our final answer. Now we have 21 over 70. Again, what's our highest factor that can go into both? Well, we know that that's 7, so we divide our top and bottom by 7, and we get 21 divided by 7 is 3, and then 70 divided by 7 is 10. 3 over 10 cannot be reduced down any further, so 3 tenths is our final answer. Next, we move on to 12 over 32. The highest factor that can go into 12 and 32 is 4, so we will divide our top and our bottom by 4, where 12 divided by 4 is 3, and 32 divided by 4 is 8. And 3 over 8 is our final answer. Next, we move on to 40 over 90. Now for this example, we can either find our highest multiple, or we can just get rid of these zeros. Because getting rid of these zeros is the same as dividing the top and the bottom by 10. So now after we get rid of our zeros, we're left with 4 over 9. Well, 4 over 9 cannot be reduced any further, so 4 ninths is our final answer. Next we have 12 over 40. The highest multiple that can go into both 12 and 40 is 4. So we'll divide the top and bottom by 4 to give us 3 over 10 as our final answer. In our last example, we have 24 over 48. Well, this one might be a bit tricky because it's not in our common multiples table. So let's start with dividing by what we know to be our highest multiple. We know that 12 can go both into 24 and 48 Let's divide our top and bottom by 12. 24 divided by 12 is 2, and then 48 divided by 12 is 4. Now we're left with 2 over 4, but 2 over 4 can be reduced down even further if we divide the top and bottom by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, and then 4 divided by 2 is 2. 1 half can't be reduced down any further, so 1 half is our final answer.